Welcome to game two of the series. Giamp uh, took game one with uh, about a 258 victory point victory. 258 VPs as Axis. So uh, Ari Forever is going to have to do the same thing here in game two or beat that to get faction selection for game three. We're going to see him playing as a complete faction switch, by the way. We're going to see Western Front Armies instead of Eastern Front this uh this time it's going to be Ari Forever's Over Commander West against GF's US forces. GF has immediately insta picked mechanized. He's actually going with Cheese's build. Cheese's mechanized build. Double rear echelons into rifles into uh, WC 51. Actually, no, I take that back. He actually went with two rifles before fielding his first his first WC 51. So I am mistaken. And Ari Forever is going to go with a Kuba wagon opening, sending that straight. Uh, towards the munitions point here on the right side to try and pin down those rear echelons, but unfortunately his opponent has blind countered that Kuba Wagon opening with the Instapick mechanized. And WC-51 is already on its way to counter that vehicle. Riflemen also do minor damage to the Kuba Wagon there as well. And it looks like the WC-51 is going to attempt to hunt down that Kuba Wagon immediately at the beginning of the game. Moving to pick up these riflemen first, though. Rear echelon troops taking control of the munitions. Kuba Wagon receiving repairs here on the south by the fuel point. And the fuel is about to get connected by this squad of Folks Grenadiers. Second squad of Folks Grenadiers in production now. And, uh, ooh. Actually, the WC-51 is going to capture this sector while riflemen grab control of the center victory point, and this squad of rear echelon troops wires off the left side fuel as they capture that. WC-51 finishes capturing this point and will move to collect these riflemen here in the middle and probably try and kill that Kuba wagon with a second attempt. It is a little bit unsupported here in the road. Stern pioneers are currently taking control of the right side. Victory point, and the Kuba wagon may even have its rear armor exposed to that WC-51 here as it moves to flank. I think that's a dead Kuba Wagon. I'm not sure there's going to be any way for it to survive this. Maybe not. It does react quite quickly to the WC-51 pursuing it. It's on its way to safety. Trying to get to the supporting Sturm Pioneers here in the road. WC-51 firing at point blank range. Does a huge burst of damage to the, to the Kuba Wagon right there. But the WC-51 has to pull away from the damage from those Sturm Pioneers for repairs, and neither side is able to take out the other person's light vehicle. Riflemen jumping into this building are starting to do significant damage to these folks grenadiers in the house, and no tech yet from Ari Forever. Meanwhile, we are going to see a third squad of riflemen from Giap. He's also taking control of the entire left side. Koopa Wagon will be fully repaired on the right side and should have no problem forcing away this lone squad of rear echelon troops with Stern Pio plus Koopa Wagon combo. In fact, they will retreat immediately upon seeing that both of those units are still in the vicinity. Riflemen force a retreat from one squad of Folks Grenadiers, fall down to three men, second squad of riflemen moving to support. That's three riflemen fielded now, and the WC-51 is about to be fully repaired here to move to re-engage against the Koopa Wagon, which will leave the Stern Pioneer squad so it doesn't have the support of those... Uh, SDG-44 is against the WC-51 should it try and hunt and kill the Koopa Wagon again, and it is perfectly in position to do so. Moving in on the Koopa Wagon now, catching it again, slightly out of position, but it should be able to get back to the safety of the OKW base before the WC-51 can finish it off. WC-51 is about halfway to Vet 2, though, and it may have spotted the uh, Tier 3 structure going up right there. I'm not sure if you got vision or not. Thank you, Angel of Death, for the host. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Volley fire going off from the uh, from the rear echelon troops right there, but Folks Grenadiers make it to yellow cover and probably not get suppressed. I think they did just leave their cover. Volley fire is over now. Volley fire comes to an end. Folks Grenadiers will not get suppressed, but GF currently has the entire map under his control, including the fuel cutoff right here. Flag half track will be Ari Forever's next purchase, but it's going to take a really long time to get that get that unit on the field because he doesn't have his fuel point and he's quite behind. Quite behind for fuel. And his Stern Pioneers, if they don't retreat immediately, will risk getting wiped in this red cover of the road with two squads of riflemen trying to focus them down. Meanwhile, over here on the left side, rear echelon troops trying to hold the line against this Folks Grenadier blob. We will be forced to retreat. WC-51 also pulling back to safety. The two squads on the right side are getting the fuel and victory point under control and these three Folks Grenadier squads are going to struggle for now. Koopa Wagon makes its way slightly out of the base, just peeking. Trying to keep this Koopa Wagon alive. It hasn't really been able to do anything all that useful against this WC-51. It's now moving perhaps too aggressively 
towards the support of these folks grenadiers. Don't think that Ari Forever has managed to collect the 90 munitions he needs for his first Panzer Shrek, so he still has no real counter to the WC-51 since he's gone. Fortifications into an MG-34 rather than uh, get a Rakettenwerfer or something to try and counter this vehicle. It will move to capture the fuel point. We'll have that captured soon. WC-51 is fully healed. Cool wagon needs some repairs, but the Stern Pioneers are busy reinforcing here in the base. With no fuel point coming in, Flak Half Track is going to be quite late. This squad is making its way towards the fuel point to try and get some fuel coming in from the left side rather than trying to engage against the right, which has slightly better defenses. Two squads of riflemen rotating left to try and push away some folks grenadiers in this area, and Giap has fielded a captain and an ambulance. He may go Stuart, or he may simply try and transition to Major from here. Captain will provide him with some bazooka protection against the flak half track when it does eventually arrive. Kuba Wagon does minor damage to the WC 51 as it makes its way towards the north. Fox Grenadier squad there falls to two men, will force to retreat to safety. Rear echelon is grabbing back control of the fuel point, and riflemen are going to try and set up a flank on this Kuba Wagon. Captain moving in, WC 51 also moving in. WC 51 is going to circle quite wide. Rather than going in directly on that Kuba Wagon, here comes a flanking squad of riflemen behind the MG 34. Bazooka from the captain threatens to destroy the Kuba Wagon. There it goes. Well executed flank by G up here, despite the fact that there are two MGs in the area, neither one of them is set up for this push, and it looks like everything is going to have to make a full retreat. Stern Pioneer is moving in on the Captain right there, across the Red Cover Road without taking any losses. Captain tries to kite them. WC-51 moves to engage against those Stern Pilots and force the retreat, and everything Ari Forever has will be forced back into the base. He's going to make another attempt at grabbing this fuel point. The WC-51 will activate Step on it to get up here to the Folks Grenadiers, and deny them this fuel and further delay anything by Ari Forever, but he will get his flak half-track onto the field, making its way to the front line, maybe, maybe be able to get a little bit of map control back with this thing, but so far, GF is shutting down everything he's attempted to do, and having gone captain, he shouldn't have any trouble ma uh, countering this. Purchase. He has lots of options to do so. He has the bazooka of the captain himself. He has access to the AT gun. And the steward. So whatever he decides to field, he should be able to deal with that flak half track no problem. Ambulance is going to reinforce and heal some squads here in the north. MG-34 taking control of the munitions while the WC-51 repairs itself and captures the left side victory point to get a triple cap going against... Ari Forever again, and GF currently has 500 victory points in the bank. Has not even lost a single VP, completely containing Ari Forever to his base from start to finish of this game. MG-34 is set up for this engagement. We'll manage to suppress a squad of riflemen right there. Captain is failing to destroy this green cover position with the bazookas. So far just hitting the ground. Flak half track and MG-34 set up over here on the left side and it's probably going to take a steward or some kind of vehicle to turn this engagement in Jeep's favor. <laughs> Jeep's in Jeep's favor. Japs. WC-51 just got refitted right there, heading back to the spawn to give uh, Jap a little bit of extra manpower. We'll only give him five fuel though. And the Vet-2 crew is also going to be uh, transformed into resources. Major on the field though. He looks like he's just going to rush a tank out rather than uh, try and purchase a Stuart to, cap to counter the, um, the flag half-track. Seven fuel, not five fuel. Enemy forces now have 300 points remaining. Good job. One of our fighting positions is sustaining fire. Folks, Grenadiers engaging against these riflemen right here. Flak half track will destroy the uh, the fighting position right there. Rifleman moving in to try and finish this thing off. One rifle grenade connects. If he can get two more off. Decent chance of this thing being destroyed. Oh, he's so clumped right here, though. Oh, that was bad. 
Main gun destroyed! Main gun destroyed! Rear echelon troops are gonna try and finish the job. Does it have a destroyed engine? It has a destroyed engine. Three consecutive 5% chances. One of them destroys the engine completely, and rear echelon troops will finish the job. Main gun destroyed crit is not enough to save that flak half track, and it will go down, which means that RA Forever is reduced to only two suppression sources. This one, and this one. Two MG34s. Koopa Wagon is dead. Flag Half Track is dead. So two of four suppression sources gone. Ari Forever is probably going to start to severely struggle from this point. Forward retreat points set up here with the Major to allow for forward reinforcement and healing. But Ari Forever does manage to very briefly set up a triple cap against Giab and get the clock ticking against him. At 280 victory points, he will stop the clock, which. Means he still has preserved faction selection if he could somehow manage to win this game from this point forward, but having lost both of his vehicles, I don't know if that's going to be possible. Fighting position will prevent the capture of this fuel point by those Folks Grenadiers. These infantry move up into the cutoff and should be able to force a retreat from that squad of Folks Grenadiers, and both of those squads will be forced to retreat all the way back to base. Rear echelon troops getting pushed away by an MG34 over here on the left side. There goes that squad right there, and the Sherman is, uh, Sherman is on the field already. That 12-minute Captain Tier Sherman, 12-minute Captain Tier Sherman will charge straight into Ari Forever's machine gun right here and force that retreat. SWS is going to get caught out of position, probably destroyed. There's honestly no real counter to the Sherman on the field at all, except for one Panzer Shrek squad sitting here in the base. Sherman will go in on the SWS half track right there and have no problem destroying it. Giving it a little bit of free veterancy, going in very hard, straight into the base, very aggressively. Not a care in the world, will deploy smoke and go for a very aggressive crush maneuver and kills a ton of Folks Grenadier models right there. Attack ground, inflicts more damage on this. This Sherman is up to 12 kills already and has barely sustained a scratch. I think GF briefly stopped microwing it to capture territory. And is now going to pull the Sherman out of the base, satisfied with the huge damage that he just inflicted. Ari Forever's manpower economy. More squads will be herded back into the base by infantry and the Sherman combined. Puma on the field. Sherman is going to have to pull to safety away from that. Kenworfer and Panzer Shrek don't look like they're going to be able to get in range for shots on the captain will arrive to support against that Puma just in time. Sherman gets a huge shot off. Smoke being deployed. Bazookas need to try and get in range and finish off that Puma if they can. Puma shot missed right there where Kenworfer is not in range to take a shot. And the Puma will go down to another Sherman high explosive round. Sherman pulls away with 18 kills including the destruction of a Puma and will be fully repaired. And to follow that up, GAP will field an M3. But it's never going to see combat because that's the game. GAP takes the series 2-0 with a 14-minute U.S. Forces Mechanized Company victory against Ari Forever's legendary Hover Commando West.